What's up YouTube? This is Mike aka Bumblebee coming at you with another video update of my 180 gallon salt water reef tank. Now in this video in particular I want to talk about um, two things. My sand bed and eventually I want to talk about my live rock. Now the purpose of this is because I know a lot of people eventually when they get into this hobby you speed up into this hobby being a newbie and eventually you tend to make a lot of mistakes and the fish and the corals have to pay for the price on that. Now, that said, I was one of those people who eventually made a lot of mistakes and it's the purpose of the video to try to help out those who um, probably might be experiencing what I'm going to be talking about now um, and maybe know what they can do to correct that problem. So for starters, I'm going to go ahead and show you my sand bed. Okay. Now on this sand bed, as you can see, I have some algae bloom on the sand bed and um, the nitrification uh, um, on the deep sand bed itself you can barely see that there is not that many um, bubbles in there so there's some spots that are even solid you know and that's because of the fact that this sand bed just so you guys have a better idea I was a once had a four inch sand bed here now I'm gonna tell you why it's not four inches anymore but that's just what the sand bed looks like. Now, the reason why it's not four inches anymore is because when I moved, my tank was not running. It only had water in it um, with some pumps in it just to run, you know, keep the water moving for the live rock and for the sand. But what ended up happening was I uh, moved and I dumped all the water, not realizing that I said I was going to start off new water. And I figured that eventually the rock already is already live and the sand, everything was established. So I figured that would help out with the new um, water that I would be making. But unfortunately, I made a big mistake by emptying out the tank before I took out the rocks or the sand. And I dumped all that water. So I put, I brought two uh, brute 40 gallon um, garbage cans, actually three of them. And two of them went with my live rock and then one of them went with sand now I didn't put no water in them so that was already a problem because when I realized it because everything was being done so fast I said to myself I need to get this tank set up ASAP so I figured okay that would not be a problem because the first thing I would set up would be the tank once I get everything into the apartment now unfortunately that wasn't the case my uh, rocks stood in the garbage cans for about three days and my live sand as well. Now there was a little bit of water in it and whatnot, but um, the problem with that is even though that there was a little bit of water and it was sitting in there for the amount of time that it did, there was a drastic change in temperature and you know throughout those three days and then on top of that all of the sand was disturbed so that first um, inch of layer that I had in my deep sand bed that was buried in there somewhere but the problem was is that that was not only the problem I did realize that since the tank was not running for seven months only just water in it with power heads running no filtration just power heads um, there was only a few hermit crabs in there and they stood you know all over to this time that they were able to survive but problem there was is that the cyanobacteria that I bumped into when I was getting to the bottom layers of the uh, of the tank. I mean, it got to the point when I was taking this stuff out, it stunk uh, horribly, you know, and it was black. So I just didn't even bother to scoop that stuff up. I just took the top portion of the layer that looked good, and um, this is what I was left with. Now, unfortunately, as we all know, and if you don't know, you cannot have a two to three inch sand bed. Uh, because you're gonna, I'm gonna bump into the same problem all over again, where I'm gonna have cyanobacteria, uh, because it's not um, enough sand to go ahead and create that deep sand bed that I would need. So what I did do in this case is that I ordered um, some more sand. Now I'm taking into consideration New York Stilo's, um opinion as far as to how to, if you already have an established tank how to go about adding new sand into it. 
Um, so I did order, uh, I believe it was 60 pounds of um, oregonite sand, that fine sugar fine sand from Marine Depot. Now we'll be um, adding this in little by little on a weekly basis. Um, in this sand bed itself, I don't believe I have any life because I don't see nothing. I look at this every night. Um, I don't see nothing. I brought a, a from my local uh, fish store. It was a bottle that they sold in a refrigerator with Kobe pods in them, and um, I acclimated it to the system, and then I dumped it into my refrigerator area. And basically, you know, they really, really tiny and almost microscopic. So, as far as to how long that would take before they start um, reproducing, I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna have to look into other methods as far as. Uh, trying to find a way to get this sand bed back to life. As far as my rocks go, um, two or three days sitting out there as well, there was a lot of the, um, that die off on my rocks, that decaying matter. And unfortunately with that, um, that's what's causing, I'm assuming, for my phosphates to be um, rising because it's releasing all that into the tank. Now it was getting really, really bad after it passed the um, the nitrogen cycle. Uh, once my tank was already cycled, I waited a whole month, um, checked all the levels, everything was good, and then I just threw fish in there one at a time. And well, as you can see, they're still in there and they're doing good. Um, but as far as uh, the rocks, they're growing hair algae. Now, unfortunately, the actinics are just on right now. So you cannot see really what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can just get closer here and show you this rock. You can see that fuzziness. Yeah, I see that on there. As you can see, this is what I'm experiencing now. Now, I did have a lot of um, cyanobacteria all over my sand. And eventually that's clearing up. And it was growing almost every day, you know, on the glass. So I had to clean that almost every day as well. I have not cleaned this glass for like four, five days now. So I did realize that eventually I'm not getting that much um, algae bloom as I was because it's starting to slow down. I did not stop the, um, the, cycle, the, the cycle of the lights. You know, they basically are still running um, the hours that I have them set up. That I've not changed that. Um, all I did do was put in that uh, this uh, bulk reef supply. Um, GFO reactor with the GFO media that they sell and I've been having this running for about I would say two and a half weeks almost three weeks now. now I do know that they say that eventually that takes around four weeks before it starts to kick in and uh, do its job so maybe I'm being a little bit impatient because and why I say that is because I just recently ordered um, I should be getting that order sometime next week um, with the 550 um, two little fishes G, uh, GFO reactor that they sell um, that reactor chamber I have purchased it but I also purchased the raw force um, 500 milliliters of that that I'm going to be putting into this system as well um, in replacement of this GFO reactor I don't think that this is uh, big enough to handle this tank so what I will be using this reactor for is carbon um, later down the line I did order as well some uh, Chemi Pure Elite uh, I got a couple of containers of those that I'm going to be adding in there into the sump area as well um, to help out with that. Um, I was going to go with the bio pellets and the reactor itself, but I canceled that out of the order because of the fact that I've gotten a lot of complaints um, in regards to uh, that um, reactor itself. You know, after that media eventually gets to the point to where it matures and it's doing what it needs to do, it has a tendency of, I guess, releasing phosphates back into your system. And I've heard a lot of algae breaks that people have been had ever since they added that. And once they discontinued it, everything went back to normal. So I figured, you know, I'll just try that uh, raw foss. I heard a lot of good reviews on that one. So I'm going to go with that and see how that works. I will be making a video once I hook all this stuff up. My lights just turned on here. Once that stuff um, get all hooked up and then give you guys an idea of what I did. But now, as you can see, that the lights are on. You can see what I'm talking about all on the back of my, uh, let me go over here because you can actually see it, how thick it is. Here we go. See that? See how thick that is? It's horrible. That stuff is really thick. 
Um, and as you see, it's all on the rocks as well. Now, that, that being said, I believe that my mistake here was that um, this rock was not cured before it got put into this tank. You know, basically it's curing itself as it goes now. I do have some areas where I have some coralline growth. I'll show you that now. And as you can see, it's this area right here that has um, that coralline algae growth. You can kind of like see it, it's kind of pinkish, purplish. And um, that's basically an indication that it, that's basically an indication that this stuff is working. Um, as far as, you know, the rocks getting back the life that they need. Eventually that's going to take a few months down the line, but this is basically what it's been looking like. Um, now, as you can see, my sand uh, kind of like has all that algae as well. And the water movement in this tank is not as good as um, I expect it to be. And as you can see, with all these rocks being crumped up like this, I'll give you the side view so you can have a better idea, there is not much area for, you know, for it to be able to move around and whatnot like the, the flow of the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be changing the aquascaping on this. Um, I'm gonna go a different route, try to make sure I can leave a lot of more open areas rather than to be all cluttered up like that because I know that's not good. And try to get as many of those rocks off of the sand bed as well. Um, so I'll give you an update on that as well. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do here and um, a lot of video updates I'll be making as far as to everything that I do because I do value everyone's opinion. And um, I like to take uh, a lot of things that people say into consideration. And, you know, that basically helps me out with um, being able to achieve what it is that I'm looking for here. Um, so in this case, before, my approach was buy fish, buy fish, buy corals, buy anemones. Uh, always buying livestock, putting it into the tank, and not modifying my system. So I made a lot of mistakes then. So this time around, what I'm doing is I'm modifying my system. I'm getting everything that I need so I can make sure that um, I get this tank up and running the proper way. Rather than to be experiencing a lot of heartache, I prefer to you know, have um, that heartache uh, by having to purchase all the things that I need to purchase because we all know this stuff comes expensive. But um, I prefer to have to deal with that rather than to deal with the fact that I get to see what brings peace to me, you know, die. So I'm gonna go my best route on making sure that I do this the proper way. So with that said, um, I should be having uh, an order coming in next week. Once I do, I will be giving you an update on that just to be specific on that order. I do have the Miracle Mud coming in and that is from my refugium stage, which I'll show you real quick here before I get off. This here, I'm taking this sand bed out. As you can see, I wanna get this sand bed out. Um, I'm gonna move this sand bed over here it's a small area and it'll give me like four inches this is like almost three inches so this ain't gonna work here either so here it will give me that four inches that I'm looking for I do have live rock in there as you can see there is um, some live rock in there I got that pump in there so I will be moving all of this I will be putting the miracle mud in here I got 10 pounds this is only an area by um, 10 inches from here to here 10 inches 15 inches across so I'm more than sure that'll give me more than um, one inch of a sand bed of a bed here of miracle mud I will be putting maybe a few, few pieces of rock not that many um, in there and that Kato would stay in there um, then over here I will be putting the Kemi Pure Elite that's also in that order um, that will be running back there I did also order um, a Kalkwas reactor that's to help me with my pH because this has been a struggle here. Uh, it's another topic there, but um, that's basically what I got coming. So that said, uh, this is just another video to get your opinion on what it is that I just talked about and um, see how I can go about you know, adjusting this problem and fixing it and basically um, getting this tank up and running the way it should. So stay tuned. I'll be having more videos coming in the future. And um, that said, uh, Take care. Enjoy your reefing experience. Till next time.